Hey, welcome back, guys. This is part uh, nine of, we're still on 127, so yeah, <laughs> I'm getting there. Uh, I appreciate your time, so yeah, welcome back. I'm going to start with some tapes. I managed to score a few tapes off my want list. I'm um, trying to get through this, through the madness here. Um, so I got this one on Avid label, so probably explains why I got such a good deal with it. A little rough around the edges, but uh, considering it's age, man, it's in really good shape. So, And the tape plays great. No mold. That's what matters. This is one of my favorites to come from the 80s for sure. Uh, my kind of wild. And uh, probably my favorite from this director, Stuart Gordon. And probably one, definitely one of my favorite stories from H.P. Lovecraft. So, yeah. Finally glad to get From Beyond added onto the video show. So, good deal on this one. Finally came across a good deal on that. Oh, I've been waiting. And then, uh, I don't have, me personally, as far as what all big boxes that I want, not too many more to go. This was one that I had been wanting to get since the start. And I finally got it. Came across a good deal for the big box for uh, Silent Night, Italy Night. Considering its age, uh, it's in really good condition. And uh, tape, no mold, plays great. And I managed to finally come across one for a reasonable price. So I don't know how many times I've passed up this date. I almost gave up and just was going to go after the regular size uh, slipcase um, tape. I was like, no, I, I do want the big box of, for this movie. So finally, uh, this is definitely one I've been trying to hunt down every December, but it just couldn't happen. But yeah, managed to get one now. So yeah, Silent Night, Deadly Night, good stuff. Both both goodness from the 80s, this go around. So just that decade. That's tapes. Uh, I got in a few collectibles. Uh, I'm trying to mix in some more pumpkins with my Michael Myers shelf. So um, love part two. So I wanted to try to get another uh, pumpkin skull mixed in there. This is a loose accessory I got off eBay for a couple bucks. Um, so pretty cool still kind of working on that shelf a little bit um but yeah i just no, i just wanted more pumpkins mixed in there with the myers figures and then one of my favorite toy companies they put out a lot of cool unique i just call it toy art really is unbox industries yeah just one of my just one of my absolute favorite companies to try and keep an eye on they um put out uh dario argento's um uh, yeah mad puppet from uh, deep red so check that out. Pretty sweet box. And I got a really good deal on this box. I didn't go directly through Unbox Industries uh, online site. I went, went through their, the eBay store there and got a better deal. So really nice box. It's got a pull tab. You can see that. I'm gonna take this out just a solid soft vinyl piece basically a statue really display piece I'll get up a little closer so you can guys see that better one of the creepiest scenes ever in horror film history no doubt So yeah, that's a nice change of pace to get some more European horror collectibles mixed in and not have everything be uh, Freddy, Jason, Leatherface, Myers, that kind of thing. So this is a breath of fresh air. So definitely happy to get some, uh, especially with Jally, you know, cool Jally, shallow pieces. Are, is a, yeah, that's a nice change of pace. So pretty cool. Happy to cross that off the want list. I Yeah, I've had my eye on this since they drop the news on it so that's that that's the collectibles and tapes and we'll move on to a stack of movies so yeah this is part part nine 127 okay we're get, getting through it um kind of slacking with the uh movie updates um uh, thanks to shingles anybody ever had shingles <laughs> shingles suck hopefully i'm not one of those cases where like the shingles last for like a month or more but uh the drugs have been good so got drugs so it's good uh go away shingles <laughs> anyway i'm rambling uh first up i finally got added in my i, I just been on the fence about this because i wasn't sure if it if i'd be okay to mix this in with my horrors and thrillers and i'm like well this is some scary shit 
and it could happen. Uh, you never know with the governments and whatnot. So, but yeah, 1984, classic stuff. So I'm finally adding that into the numbers uh, section. Uh, great movie. Uh, it's been forever since I've watched this. So some more Orson Welles stuff. A nice cr uh, Criterion release for uh, yeah, 1984. Good, good crazy stuff. So yeah, I've got no problem mixing this movie in with my collection. So that's that. Uh, ooh, this has got to be one of my all-time favorite vampire movies to, to come out in like a long, long time. And for me, this is a freaking classic. It's a classic in my book. I'm going to go ahead and just call it a classic. And that's Abigail. I absolutely love everything about this movie. And it's one of the best vampire movies to ever come out in like a long time. Like I would mix this in with like uh, Near Dark, Lost Boys, as far as the more modern, um, well, I say modern, those movies are old now, but I guess as far as, like, um, the more, <laughs> the more modern vampire movies, but it's, a, I'd mix that in there for sure, uh, Interview with a Vampire, uh, this is great, it's, it's nice, it's just great to finally watch a kick-ass, solid vampire movie, and Abigail is that, in my humble opinion, I, freaking loved it and just have to have a physical copy for sure so um yeah uh, for now it's the, the blu-ray dvd combo edition so i can see this hidden 4k i don't know what's the hold up on that but oh well better than nothing so and uh picture quality is great so <laughs> so <laughs> it works um and then i've seen this before but it's been forever and i only remember a few scenes in my head uh, this was totally out of left field, so that's pretty cool to come from AGFA. Uh, Amanda and the Alien. Could not resist. This is, again, my kind of weird. So, yeah, I got that added in the collection. Why not? So, yeah, weird, really weird movie. But um, I like the comedy in it and stuff, so, yeah. Pretty cool practical effects in it, too. I like the way the Alien look. It's that. And then I enjoyed this one. This is another blind buy. This is from Magnet. I haven't got any, it feels like I haven't got anything from Magnet in like probably forever. Amelia's uh, Children. DVD only that I can find. So I just scooped up the DVD. So yeah, that's good spooky stuff. I enjoyed it. What's that? I have yet to get around to watching this. It's another Nicolas Cage movie. Ar Arcadian, if I'm saying that right. read up on it but now i'm drawing a blank uh rated r it's coming from uh, rlje films certified rotten tomatoes <laughs> stick the thing on there that's that uh another wild movie i finally found this one for like a really good deal apocalypse now nice 4k edition it's a fat one it just kind of folds out this movie is freaking bonkers. So that's another movie I don't have. I don't have a problem mixing in with my horrors and thrillers for sure. Um, yeah, it's nuts. So Apocalypse Now. Good stuff. Classic. And yeah, finally came across a good deal because I was kind of late to the party on this one. Very late to the party on this particular edition. So, got that was an eBay fine. And then I'm going to I'm gonna check this out. I'm a fan of the original, the Clint Eastwood one, but I've never seen this remake before. I've heard good things, you know. Um, it says it gets pretty intense with this new new take here, the, the, the Beguiled. So it's the remake. Uh, the Bitter Ash. I'll scoop this up uh, from Vinegar Syndrome. Sort of a psychological deal. Ah, definitely an important footnote in SOV horror history. Blood Cult, another no-brainer, had to have it. And I love that newly commissioned art, and they pay attention to the details. They even have the little gold coin in his hands, so that's cool. Of course, holding the meat cleaver, so... I dig Blood, Blood Cult, always have. It's definitely one of those rentals back in the day. And uh, surprisingly, I'd see this movie for uh, rent even in like 
big video stores like Blockbuster. So, and I am thrilled that they used uh, the original VHS art as well. So, yeah, uh, definitely one of those important, very important uh, SOV horrors that you got to have uh, if you're into SOV horror for sure. So, Blood Cult, good stuff. So now all three got the Ripper, got Revenge, aka Blood Cult Two, and now we have Blood Cult. All, all have made their way on the Blu-ray. So very cool. Uh, that was a, this is just a no-brainer. Jumped on that day one. So, uh, big fan of the movie. Even went after the tape. Um, Blue eyes, soft core stuff, but it's just enough weird and some horror elements from what I from what I gather that I'm gonna take a chance on this one. I just could not resist any longer. I'd been on the fence on this one for the longest time, so I'm like I'm gonna check out Blue Eyes because there's some sites that I've read up on this movie where they list it as connected with a horror genre but yeah it's it's erotic stuff so i read more up on it and then seen some uh clips and stuff and it's really it's weird but um yeah that's that blue sunshine beautiful edition from um uh, synapse right did Synapse put this out again? Yeah, Synapse Films. Ah, oh, losing my mind. Busy times. Uh, one of my favorites. Probably my favorite from this director nowadays. So, yeah, Blue Sunshine. Classic stuff. Amazing edition from Synapse. So. Good stuff. That original art. Yeah, probably my favorite from Lieberman. I would say. Beautiful edition. Nice little fat booklet in there. Advertising the other movies that Synapse has put out. Make sure I put that on right. Blue Sunshine. Drug to make you go nuts. Make these ladies go nuts. What's that? And then another crazy one. David Lynch's Blue Velvet. Now making its way on the 4K. This is one of those that I... Took me forever to finally get a physical copy. So... Um, I've had this three times now. And I believe this is the exact same sort of style edition as with the Blu-ray. So just now on the 4K. Nice collector's booklet. Which is cool. I don't think that was with the Blu-ray at the time. I could be wrong. But I don't I don't know which Lynch movie is my favorite. But I do I do like I do like this movie though. This might be my favorite from the director, but I'm not sure. But yeah, Blue Velvet. And another one from Criterion. Uh, Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker, love this movie. Now making its way onto 4K, which is kind of out of left field. I wasn't expecting that, so that's a nice surprise. Freaking love that. I wish it said Night Warning though. I do like the I do like the other title, Night Warning. So it'd be cool if they gave you that option to have Night Warning written on there instead of Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker on there again. But great movie, fantastic movie. Don't sleep on this. Uh, it's my humble opinion well done really well done movie so and deserves to be on the latest format for sure so good stuff uh cannibal apocalypse now making its way on the 4k i love this movie um <laughs> it's it's just my kind of crazy and it's got some at least with some of the scenes it's just unintentional hilarity um but yeah, good stuff. One of my favorites uh, that um, John Saxton was in. So yeah, Antonio Margaretti. Good stuff. Just a movie I just keep, I can't help but go after several times. I don't know how many times I've bought, bought this movie, but it's just one of my favorites. So love that movie. And then uh, Kathy's Curse, crazy edition for this movie. This is another good movie. Don't sleep on this either. 
Um, I never got to see the this one lights up. I never got to see the my mine doesn't work. Um, I never even got it to light up. So that's cool. They gave you like a ten dollar <laughs> coupon. At least they, you know, at least they had good intentions. But I want to keep no. Mine just doesn't work at all. That'd be cool to see, see some eyes light up at least for a little bit. But oh well. Kathy's Curse, really a nice addition. This is a big upgrade over the older Blu-ray. So, good stuff. Good, creepy little movie. Uh, one that I have I've been curious about these movies for, like, quite a few years now. And um, I think this is the first time for these movies to finally get officially licensed here in the States. I could be wrong, but I never had them on DVD, so um, I never imported them. But yeah, a Chinese torture chamber one and two, so that's cool to get both of them in one swoop. So yeah, I felt I felt great to just finally mark these off the old want list because yeah, I've been want I've been curious about these for like so many years. So yeah, pretty cool. Thank you. Um, I guess, yeah, vinegar syndrome. That's that. Um, clown NATO came across this with another ebay find so yeah i have it i have this on a dvd really nice dvd edition but since i came across this on the uh, blu-ray i uh, figured i'd scoop that up for like a really good deal so clownado now uh, got some cool gory moments killer clowns you know psychotic clowns running around murder being on a murderous rampage so good stuff and then I'm just trying to... I'm almost done collecting all these. I just want to collect all the, the classic scare films of, uh, yeah, like, stay out, you know, this is what drugs would do to you. Yeah, it, it's all exaggerates. Um, exaggerates what, what could happen to you if you do this and that and all that paranoia scare stuff. Educational scare films. I want, yeah, I want to get all of these. I think they're, they're up to, like, 16 titles now. And I almost have them all. So and I like mixing these in with my horror and stuff. So um, some of some of these play out like kind of like a horror movie, but yeah, this one is um, yeah the cocaine the co most of these will be double features too. So yeah, this one's uh, the cocaine the cocaine fiends, and then one from nineteen twenty eight called the um, the pace that kills. So pretty cool. And I think this is like what is this like? volume four i think they're numbered on the side so yeah this is number 16 so this is the latest one i believe confessions of a serial killer another obscure horror movie that was like stuck on vhs for like the longest time so yes um <laughs> this is just what makes the hobby fun to finally get these movies uh, onto disc and i can finally have this on my shelf i can watch it now i don't have to like watch a crappy version online so pretty cool i uh, Another movie I've been wanting forever. So that felt good to finally cross this off the old want list. So slowly but surely. Thank you, Unearth Films. Cool. And then I got a remake of Crazy Fat Apple. Got this uh, directly from uh, the guy involved with the uh, this movie. Uh, I forget his name. Um, is he either a director or... or I'm, I know he's in this movie. I got it from his eBay store. So this is the remake um of um criminally insane or indie remake so he, he tossed in another movie too i thought was awesome but that starts with a t so i'm not there yet what's it called but that was a nice surprise so i ended up getting a new another like horror thriller type movie uh thrown in with this one so yeah he has an ebay store I got off of uh yeah i got it directly through him so looking forward to checking this new uh criminally insane movie out so this is a nice slim case blu-ray edition for this movie looks a lot like the original lady that played um played the killer so pretty cool it's a neat looking slim like edition it's that and then more documentaries cryptid stuff cryptid did i think this is a this is a yeah, documentary. Another documentary here on Cryptid. This one's on the Cheap Copper. On Small Town Monsters label. Collecting a few of these. Cool cover art. 
And there's your little creature. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, this one is number 13. I'm trying to get all of these. This one is another double feature at uh, more scare films. Uh, and Kino Classics in conjunction with something weird. Awesome. Uh, damaged Lives. And the other the other one is Damaged Goods. So you got a damaged theme going here. Volume 3 of the Danza Macabra, which is cool. This is the Spanish Spanish horror now. Um, comes with the Spanish got Yeah, excuse me. Let me start all over. Yeah, the Spanish Gothic Collection. So it comes with ne Necrophagus, Cake of Blood, Cross of the Devil, uh, Night of the Walking Dead. And uh, I don't... Well, I, the only one I'm familiar with is Necrophagus, which goes by Graveyard of Horror. So that's like an ancient DVD I can finally... Um, and that's another DVD that took me forever to like track down for like a good deal years ago. But none of that matters now. So I freaking dig. And I, I like this title better than Graveyard of Horror. So Necrophagus. And check out the freaking art on that. I love those greens. And this is a cool movie, and it's the only one out of this uh, volume three that I'm familiar with. So, awesome. That's that. And I love this title, Cake of Blood. It's so gross. <laughs> Cake of Blood. Ah, this is... These box sets are what makes the hobby fun, for sure. Uh, Cross of the Devil. I don't that looks like looks like that could be another blind dead film, huh? Kinda of reminds me of that. Never seen that before. Maybe it goes by another title that I'm more familiar with. I don't know. And then Night of the Walking Dead that that sorta of rings a bell to me, but I'm not sure. That might be one that was like very obscure and just kinda of like quote unquote lost forever. Who knows? Until now. So yeah, I'm digging these, like, box sets, so hopefully they just keep pumping them out if they can. So, yeah, this is the Spanish-themed one. Beautiful. Look at Severin. Severin killing it, as always. So many companies doing great things, man. They're all killing it in my book. And this one is Scream Factory. I love this movie. Um, I've, I've never known it to be called Dark Angel. I've always known it to be um, I Come in Peace. It's a lot of fun. I love this little weird sci-fi horror flick. Action. It's a lot of action, too. So you could say sci-fi action, horror. Um, yeah, just this evil, baddie alien. Very dangerous. And you got Dolph Lundridge, like on the hunt, trying to hunt it down. Uh, and he just keeps saying, I come in peace, and... Dolph Lundgren has that line like you come in pieces <laughs> good cheesy stuff but yeah I, I love this movie it's good stuff so yeah um do they have a reversible cover on this or not no nope you just get Dark Angel you don't get I come in peace title so I'll be keeping my blu-ray because I like that it has the reverse art on that that has the alternate title I like the title that I'm more familiar with I come in peace which I have in the I section but not anymore because I, I'll be putting that in the, the dark section. Um, and then I, I only had like one DVD documentary, but now it's it's nice to get more of this. So this is a, a big time upgrade for sure. David the Rock Nelson. This is collection volume one, so they're gonna put it. They're gonna pump out some more volumes of this guy's stuff. So that's awesome. So I don't need to hang on to that. I believe, I, I'll have to look at my DVD documentary thing to see if everything is on this particular one before I decide to let it go but yeah pretty cool talk about a dude that doesn't hardly have much of a budget of what he tries to do but just he has a lot of heart and his stuff is fun to watch so pretty cool David the Rock Nelson collection volume one so looking forward to volume two um, I'll scoop that up as well uh, Terror Vision, Dawning. 
this seems really creepy and I've heard nothing but good things from, from those who have seen this. So I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, this is, this one, this particular title is, uh, is actually from the Grave Face Films line, but it's sold through, you know, Caravision, of course. So Dawning, never heard of it. So it looks, looks to be a good spooky one. So we'll see. Well, on the art house side, I imagine. Well, from what I got from the trailer, it seems to be sort of like an art house kind of horror thing. So check that out, Donning. Uh, Deer Camp 86 looks like another one of those slasher, 80s slasher throwback type horrors. So there was a time I was getting sick of, sick of these, but now I'm kind of like kind of in the mood to check more out now. But they were pumping a lot of these like 80s slasher homage uh, movies a few years ago. It was just everywhere. I was getting tired of it. But yeah, I still want to check this out. Deer Camp 86 from Mill Creek. I found some Mill Creek disc. I didn't realize it was Mill Creek. So, God, I hadn't grabbed anything Mill Creek in <laughs> forever. Um, the Devil's Honey. Making its way now, yeah. Fulci's Devil's Honey now making its way on the 4K upgrade from the Blu ray. Really cool slipcover. I dig that. I remember liking the uh, slipcover of the Blu ray as well. That was a little more aggressive with that slipcover. Oh, crazy. I think this is the only erotic horror flick I know that come from Fulci. I don't know if he's done any others. I don't remember, but I remember this one being very erotic. Uh, the only one I'm familiar with. So yeah, Devil's Honey. And then last for part nine, and I'll continue on with part 10 on down. Um, documentary on Italian horrors. This one's simply called Dream Time. From, and it's a, I mainly know this to be a record company that puts out soundtracks, um, but it's from Rustblade. So that's cool. I guess Rustblade's starting to put out physical media as well maybe they have been i've just i'm just now realizing it but yeah another one i actually pre-ordered this through amazon so yeah uh documentary on italian horror yeah dream time so that's part nine guys uh that'll that'll that's a wrap so uh thanks for stopping by and yeah appreciate your time and i'll check back with you uh soon enough for part 10 later